Hey guys, welcome to another video from Super Channel Tech. Today we'll see how to flush the brake system of bikes. For this, we'll need a cotton cloth, dot two or dot three brake oil, a spanner as per the size of the overflow valve of your brake system, empty plastic bottle, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a plastic overflow pipe. Now let's get started by opening the oil tank by using the Phillips head screwdriver. Before opening the oil tank, make sure that your bike handle is straight. It is not tilted to any of the sides. This will avoid the oil to spill from the oil tank. Now you don't have to drain the entire oil from the oil tank through the brake system. You can simply absorb it using the paper napkin or a cotton towel. I have taken the leisure of removing the old brake oil with the help of a paper napkin. Once you have removed the old oil, pour in the new fresh oil. Clean the tank well before you pour in the new fresh oil. Let's connect the plastic pipe that we have to the overflow valve of the brake system. Overflow valve will be located on the caliper. Usually, it will be covered with a rubber cap. Simply open the rubber cap and connect the pipe to the flow valve. Now comes the crucial and the delicate part of straining the brake system. Now there should be a proper coordination between pressing the brake lever and opening the overflow valve. First, open the valve of the brake system. Now press the brake lever to the full unless and until it touches the grip of the accelerator. Now before releasing the brake lever, make sure that you close the valve of the oil system. Once you have released the brake lever completely, now open the valve again. Again press the brake lever unless and until it touches the accelerator grip. Follow this procedure unless and until you see the clean oil flowing from the oil tank to the bottle. While doing this procedure also keep an eye on the oil tank because while doing this your oil tank might run dry. Do not let your oil tank run dry. Keep it to the max level by pouring in the fresh oil as and when required. If there is no proper coordination between pressing the brake lever and opening the valve of the oil system, you could suck up air in the brake system. In case if you suck up the air in the brake system, no worries, keep on following the same procedure unless and until you see a clean one steady flow of oil draining to the bottle. Once you have flushed out all the old oil from the brake system and now you are able to see fresh oil flowing out into the bottle, close the valve tightly and also don't forget to cover the valve with the rubber cap that we removed before. Now clean the rubber cap and the oil cap properly. Now assemble the rubber cap and the metal cap of the oil tank. Now 
now before assembling the cap make sure that you are assembling the cap in the same way that it was before but for doing this you should keep in mind the direction in which the letters were on the cap Now when you have closed the oil valve and also installed the metal cap of the oil tank, keep pressing the brake lever until you develop a pressure in the brake system. If you don't have the proper pressure built up in the system, the brakes won't work. You will come to know the pressure that has built up in the system when the brake lever becomes stiff. There will be a very less movement in the brake lever when you press it. Don't throw the old oil in the open as it is biohazardous. Give it to the nearby motor oil shop for disposal.